Um, I do have one question for you, Tars. Um, yeah. You said it's very important to use visuals and graphics, and you used the Hackney's two meters example. Have you seen any examples of behavioral economics application through videos? As you can see now, a lot of the social media content that we, we have access to are videos. Have you seen any ex good examples that you can share with us? Uh, yeah, I can. In, in the day, I go through various examples of um, field clips of government, public sector, private sector examples um, of um, people talking about sort of visual um, gamification or playfulness. So I'll give you one example which I talk about, which is um, some steps uh, in a, a tube station, in a train station in Stockholm years ago. Uh, what they did was they tried to get people to use steps rather than using the escalator. So they set up an exercise. They set up an exercise where they actually painted piano keys on the steps and they actually made it. I don't know how they do this because I'm not musical or technical. So when you press on each step, it creates a note, a musical note. And what they found is if they just left it there, people would walk on the steps to make a sound, to make like a musical song. People do it individually or with their dog or with their boyfriend or girlfriend. Now, that was encouraging people to, to use steps rather than go on escalator as a way of, you know, burning weight and keeping fit. Beautiful visual way of doing it. Not just visual, sensual way of doing it. And again, if you think about what it would have been, it would have been them putting up posters saying, oh, well, you must use the steps because, you know, you'll lose weight and you'll keep fit. And system two goes, yeah, yeah, I know, boring, stop telling me what to do. But this doesn't do that. It just gets you as a sort of unconscious fun level. And you play it, and I've, I've done it myself. You've got, and it's just, it, it's it, because it makes a song. Also, um, in Japan, um, they had sort of musical roadways. There was a couple of paths of a motorway where if you go at precisely the recommended speed of like 27 miles an hour, it plays, there are indentations on the, the road. Oh. It plays a tune. Yeah, you know? So if okay. you go above 30 miles an hour, you don't get the song. But if you've got exactly the right speed, it plays a tune. Now, how brilliant is that? It doesn't say, slow down, don't speed, you'll kill people. Very system too. It gives you a extremely fun, playful, musical system one reward. There's loads more examples. I think those are fantastic things. But they still seem as, as a little bit, ooh, as a bit left field, but they're incredibly effective. Thank That's you, Johnny F, by the way. Thank you. That's very creative. And I think you can spend a lot of time just kind of explaining that it's not just the visual, it's also other senses like our audio and listening to music. That could really um, help people to change their behavior.